Hi there, this is Mark and I'm at my reloading bench today. I'd like to show you a step-by-step -step process that I use to clean brass cartridge cases. Now this video will utilize the tumbler that I designed and built and it's featured in one of my other YouTube videos so you can find it on my YouTube channel. Now this cleaning process is what I use and it works real well. Okay, this is the uh, brass uh, before I started to, to tumble it. It's a hundred pieces of 223 uh, military brass. Okay, I filled up the uh, tumbling barrel uh, with water. Uh, it's roughly half full and I measured the water. There's a gallon and a half of water to fill this uh, tumbling barrel up. Now this is the TL4 tumbling barrel which they say is a two and a half gallon barrel. But uh, a gallon and a half uh, fills it halfway. And I got just like lukewarm water in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dump my pins. Uh, this is the pins here. Um, these are Ultra 47 uh, stainless steel pins and there's 12 and a half pounds. Now these pins are 47 thousandths in diameter and they're about just a little over a quarter inch long. So I'm going to add the pins to the water. Okay, now that the pins are added, I got a couple stragglers here. Get them all inside. Uh, so the pins are added, now I'm going to add my brass. Now this is the uh, 223's, about 100 count. Okay, now I'm going to take my Lemmy Shine. This is Lemmy Shine uh, Original. I'm going to put two scoops of Lemmy Shine. And then just keep the uh, little measurer. Uh, now, this measurer, uh, it does say on the bottom of it, it's 5 cc's. Uh, and this comes in, in the bottle. So Next, I uh, add the soap. So, the soap, I use two, this is a, a teaspoon, I use two teaspoons, which may seem like a lot of soap from what other people use, I'll just rinse off the uh, measuring spoon, and now uh, put the cap on. Uh, this is the, the cap, which is a watertight seal. Push that in, turn the nut, and there we are. Now this is ready to go on the tumbler. Barrel, put it on the uh, tumbler. You want to check that there's no water leaks coming out of the uh, plug. If so, you just need to tighten up the, uh, the wing nut a little bit more. And I'm going to run this for one hour. I moved the light down and I'm shining it on the barrel and the barrel being translucent you can uh, see through it and you can see the water level and over here you can see the uh, tumbling action of the pins and the brass inside the barrel to kind of give you an idea of what's happening in there. Okay, I just removed the tumbling barrel from the tumbler and it's been running for one hour. So now I'm going to remove the plug and uh, I'm going to dump the water out. And when I dump the water, I dump it into another container and let it overflow. Uh, just in case any of the pins come out, you can catch them in the container. So you can see the water is pretty black. Okay, try to pour it out just so you don't get any pins uh, out. There's a little bit of water still in there, but uh, what I'm going to do now, you can see how black that water is. Put some fresh water in there. I'll swirl it around. 
dump that out and then I'll fill it back up. I'm just trying to get all that carbon uh, out of the water so I can do like a final polish and rinse of the cases. Okay, so what I'm doing is just trying to get some of the uh, black contaminants suspended in the water. See the cases now are very clean. And they're, they're full of pins also. So now what I'm going to do. Oh, that pins fell out there. Um, I'll fill back. I'll fill the the tumbling barrel back up with lukewarm water. Okay, I filled the uh, the barrel back up with uh, lukewarm water. Now the, the pins and the uh, brass cases are still in, in the barrel. Uh, just refresh the water. Now I'm going to use the Lemmy Shine rinse. And this has a little uh, pour, it's not really a pour spout, just a little spout there. And I'm going to use one uh, teaspoon of the Lemmy Shine rinse. Lemma shine rinse. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of the Ajax uh, soap. This is the citrus uh, triple action soap. So I'll put one teaspoon of that in there. Okay, so now I'm going to put the cover back on. Put this back on the tumbler for 30 minutes. Okay, this just uh, finished up 30 minutes uh, with the Lemma Shine rinse and soap. So uh, I'll take it in the other room and uh, show you the rest of the process. I'll take the plug out here and we'll. Uh, We'll dump the uh, entire contents, water, pins, and brass, into the uh, media separator. Now, uh, what's kind of important here when you're getting the pins uh, separated from the brass is to make sure you have enough water in the uh, separator. I'm going to top it off with a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you, you want the, the brass to be below the water level. What that does, it really washes the pins out of the brass. If you don't have that water there, the, the pins want to hang up and stay inside the brass. a whole lot to uh, get all the, the pins out. That should be all it takes. Yeah, quite a bit of soap in there, but uh, at this point uh, I'll take the uh, Basket out. Put it in the sink here, and I'm going to put the, put the brass into a uh, clean container. Move the uh, camera over so you can see. So now I got the brass in here. What I'm going to do is use hot water. to thoroughly rinse out all the soap. And 
this is, is getting rid of the soap and any uh, residue of the chemicals that's still on the brass. And I use hot water here, hot as I can get the water. Now you can see the brass it looks like brand new. And uh, the nice thing about uh, the pins is it cleans the primer pockets. Get out this water. Cleans out the primer pockets and the, the entire inside of the case is. All right, just rinse these real thoroughly with hot water so the brass is still very hot. Um, you want the brass hot so that it'll dry quick. So now what I do is I just dump it on a towel. I spread the brass out and I just kind of roll it around. What that does, it dries the outside of the cases so you don't have any water spots. Now if I was doing pistol brass, I'd just leave them like this and let them dry because uh, the, the water can run out of the case. But these bottleneck cases will hold the water inside if they're laying flat like this. So what I do is I grab a couple cases, like three in hand, I blow the primer pockets out, and then I stand them up. And what I have here is just a rolled up towel that I can lean the brass uh, up against. So that's what I do. And just continue on down. Uh, these brass will be dry in about three hours uh, because the water will just run out and the, t the towel will wick that water right out of the end of them. So uh, that's it. So hopefully this uh, answers any questions that anybody has on how I uh, tumble brass with my uh, tumbler that I built.